going to be Mr. B. Um, fighting, I do not know. I cannot recognize people anymore. It's very unfortunate. Mr. B, the infamous Mr. B. Yeah, Mr. B, you, are you familiar with the legends of Mr. B? I'm familiar with his uh, signature face mask. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, uh, oh, it's the red, yeah. That so. says Mr. B on it. Yeah, exactly. Cag was selling those a while back, and he was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to grab one, bro. I think I'm going to grab one. So uh, definitely we've got um, Mr. B here coming in. Uh, definitely a player who's approved a lot over the course of the quarantine, and uh, definitely has been playing at, if not a PR level, uh, this last couple weeks, damn close. So... Definitely, if this was not an offseason, I would say he'd be in contention for a spot. And uh, the red, definitely a, uh, you know, definitely also in that same boat. Uh, going in this game um, with his Sephiroth as opposed to his Snake. So, definitely think that's a pretty cool pick against Lucina. And I know that um, Mr. B was also excited to play this set. So, I, like to, uh, I would like to see how this goes. Oh, All right, that is an unfortunate, just a little bit, you know, misjudge of uh, the spacing of the ledge there. But before that, I was but. about to say, we have, a, <laughs> we have a very even game so far. Yeah, we did have an even game, but uh, you know, I was like, okay, I was excited to see what the ledge trap was, and unfortunately uh, for the red, you know, he just was not able to make it back to that ledge. Yeah. We take those, though. Yep. Good delay there on the um, on the uh, recovery there from Mr. B, just because Sephiroth can actually counter edge guard Lucina from on the stage. Um, because Dolphin Slash reaches onto the stage, so she'll just get hit. Oh, oh. Yeah, so that is something that Lucina has to perpetually be wary about anytime she's in disadvantage in this matchup. But uh, Mr. B played around it very well right there. Okay. Yeah, tries to go in with the grab. Understandable. Uh, did, definitely did have motivation to shield, and that's not quite going to oh. kill across stage. Oh, no jump, so he wasn't able to make it back. Unfortunate, but still with a solid advantage here. Okay, going to make it back. What's the ledge trap? Good pressure. Now maybe you can help me out with this, but why, do you know why Sephiroth still has the wing, even though he took the stock? Uh, yeah, so Sephiroth, um, whether Sephiroth's got the wing or not, depends on, like, there's a hidden point system where you, uh, like, gain points for falling farther behind, you lose points for, uh, like, getting closer to your opponent in uh, stocking percent. And as long as you're behind by more than a certain, like, amount of points, uh, in that internal system, you'll keep your way. Oh. So it's not like automatically that you lose it whenever you take a stock, but usually losing it will close it by enough of a gap that you lose the wing, but sometimes you don't. So that is why he was able to retain that wing, but no wing here as um, you know, he did end up losing that stock, but taking one right in return with the uh, very nice uh, scintilla on that forward smash for the ledge trap. Second one that we've seen. Uh, yep, for sure. Really good. Fighting his way back with this aggressive button from Mr. B. Good stuff. That is one of the uh, strong options in general against Sephiroth ledge trapping is, uh, okay, watch out here. Doesn't reverse it, though. I feel like if he'd reversed that, that might have actually been the game. I don't know if Mr. B had a jump. But yeah, no, that's one of the good options against um, Sephiroth ledge trapping in general is fighting your way back uh, with buttons only because a lot of the time, uh, you will have less range than Sephiroth, yeah, but you usually have uh, quicker frame data on most of your moves. And Lucina definitely falls into that camp. Unfortunately, we are going to see the red go ahead and miss that tech <laughs> to uh, go down that first game. But um, Happens to the best of us. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, so we'll definitely yeah, see sure. what we see here in this game number two. Looks like we're going to be going directly back to Smashville. Definitely. Are we, um, are we going directly back to the characters? I would assume so. Um... I would assume we're seeing, yeah, Sephiroth Lucina. The only other character I could see the red pulling out would be Snake, but I don't feel like he'd prefer to go uh, Snake over uh, Seph in this matchup, only because, um, you know, Snake's disadvantage against Swords is, like, not really fun. And no one's disadvantage is fun against Lucina, uh, but Sephiroth at least, like, has the tools to more easily contest her in neutral, so... Okay. Yeah, so the red's getting boxed out pretty hard right now. Yep. Oh, where's the grab? That was surprising. Yeah, and we see Sephiroth's grab range being, uh, you know, not the best for sure. Definitely not the best. 
But regardless, we do see Mr. B taking that second stack again, and I think he's dead here. Oh, no, he did have a double jump. <laughs> yeah, actually going to uh, go, over, go over that up smash there with that neutral air. Almost crouches under it, but not quite. Yep. Up there into the back air, off stage situation. Again, gets hit with the, with the octo slash. Yep. I, I definitely would like to see Mr. B hang back. In, the, in a lot of these situations where Sephiroth has to come back straight horizontally, I'd like to see Mr. B kind of hang out and uh, go for a ledge trap instead. Just because octo slash is really difficult to contest head on. Um, and he won't have to do that if uh, he is coming in from like a diagonal angle, right, like that. But if uh, he's just charging it and comes in straight at a 90 degree angle, um, I definitely would like to see him kind of just hang out, see uh, what Sephiroth's ledge option will be and try to pressure that, as opposed to trying to go for an edge guard. See, that one I don't, I don't disagree with as much. Like, I understand that. Because um, he didn't have to challenge it head on. But it does not end up working out, but you know, still got Sephiroth off stage. So what do we make out of this ledge trap? Really good uh, reaction there to the uh, second octo slash. It was, it was. Just beating him up there. Yeah. Doesn't go for the throw, just opts to beat him down. Yeah, he's going for mad pummels here, but we're all forward are gonna kill, uh, basically from a neutral position. So, we have here, good juggles. That was immaculate spacing on that Nair, really good stuff. It was, it was. Oh, okay, well, good. amazing okay. counter here. Notice that Mr. B likes to land with a lot of buttons. And decides to just call one of those out with that scintilla. Oh, that was a really good idea from Mr. B. Um, realizing that the red likes to do that uh, near out of shield to try to reverse these shield pressure situations, so he runs back and tries to forward smash, but just barely out, um, gets himself out space. So, good idea, a little bit off on the execution. And finally makes oh, wow. one of these edge guards count. Get some good damage. Catches him at the end of the recovery, the dolphin slash. Yep. And the uh, Nair, yeah. yeah, not quite going to take it. Oh, oh amazing that, that weave there. That forward air would have taken it. Yeah, forward air definitely would have, but really good drift here from the red to stay alive. Box red boxing yeah. him out pretty well. Okay, does actually get the two frame, but ends up trading. Make no mistake, this is definitely anybody's game at this point in time. Wow, but, very low. Yeah. Ooh, low back air is going to take out uh, the red's last stock with uh, Mr. B taking it over the red uh, in a 2-0 victory. Pretty convincingly, I'd say.